every Aquastat has an incoming power similar to a circuit board. This is where you will start from to make sure that this Aquastat is getting power. Typically on a no heat call, if this Aquastat is not getting power, then it's not the Aquastat. I repeat, if this Aquastat is not getting power, then it's not the Aquastat. That means you have to trace power back and figure out where the break in the power is. But if the Aquastat is getting power, you got to understand how this control works. First, it has the transformer. Once it gets 120 volts, the transformer steps it down. But remember, this Aquastat does not turn anything on by itself. It needs a demand or a call for heat. That's where the control voltage wires comes into play. And from that point, guys, depending on the demand for heat, that's what makes the relay energizers, which controls the circulator and blase blase. You have the burner circuit, which connects to the damper first. The damper has to open up and...